Welcome to the Richard Lloyd USA YouTube channel. I'm Richard Lloyd. Today I'm making a video on uh, a small problem I had with my, my air wrench, actually. Um, it just stopped performing. It wasn't, it was barely turning. It didn't have any torque to it at all. Uh, and it just seemed like it was worn out. Now, uh, my cure for it, I well, I completely took it apart, uh, you know, cleaned it, oiled it, lubricated it, put it back together, and I had the same problem. I couldn't figure it out, so I went and got myself a little, a smaller air wrench, stubby one. Uh, this is a three-eighths, this is a quarter inch, and uh, this worked out fine, and it worked great, and it proved me that it wasn't something to do with my air supply, because this one worked great on the hose, and this one did not. But after completely taking this air wrench apart, I couldn't get it to work correctly. I had, still had the same problem. And I had this happen on another air wrench, which I gave up on and uh, put it into the scrap pile and uh, recycled it, actually. It went into recycling. And on this one, I decided I'm going to find out what is causing this to these tools because they're supposed to last a really long time. They're supposed to be you know, highly reliable, and I take care of them. And I uh, oiled them and all that. And uh, so I took this thing completely apart, and I still could not find what was wrong with it. I looked at the, the uh, uh, schematic for it, which basically shows you all the parts. Got it right here. And uh, couldn't find anything on the schematics for this tool uh, that would cause it to not work correctly or not have any power. And this tool also, I couldn't find anything on, on it that would give me any hints either. But with this tool in that, in that uh, manual for this tool, it did say one thing, and the one thing it said was uh, a pro a, a po the problem decreased output, which is what I had. Possible causes. One of the possible causes, not enough air pressure, uh, obstructed trigger, uh, incorrect lubrication, or not enough lubrication. Well, none of those things were a problem. Uh, air leaking from a loose ha housing. That wasn't the issue. Mechanical contaminated, me mechanism contaminated, in other words, it's dirty. Uh, uh, vein wear or damage, in other words, the internal uh, uh, veins would have worn out and not worked. But that wasn't the issue. But one of them was here, blocked inlet air screen if equipped. Now, the, the, the blow up has the air, air inlet right there, but it does not have a screen on it, on this thing. So in these uh, in manuals, especially on this one here, it doesn't even mention a screen. It doesn't show it on the, on the, the uh, documentation either or the, the blown up uh, diagram. So I didn't catch that. So I'll, what I'm gonna show you is uh, what these air tools and all my air tools that I have uh, have this inlet screen that, that resides between the input um, nozzle here and the inlet here. There's there's a screen in that inlet. And I'm gonna take it apart, show you what my problem was, what I found. Uh, I think the probable reason for mine was that I had a, a bad uh, hose that was putting, what do you call it, the material into that screen and clogging it up. So let me uh, take it into the garage. I'll show you what I found and I'll show you how this works. And uh, I'll show you how to quickly take this apart look at it and see if that's your problem with your air tool. So here's a bunch of my air tools and all of these air tools have one thing in common. They have that inlet screen. So I'm going to take this one out here so you can see. Hopefully you can see down in there. There is an inlet screen there and that is there to protect the tool from debris coming from the air hose. Uh, however that happens. And uh, I use this PTFE thread seal tape on them to seal them up so that they don't leak when you put them on. Make sure you don't overdo it or get that thread uh, outside of, uh, sorry, thread tape outside of the thread so that it falls into the uh, actual orifice. You see that I got a bunch in there. I'm gonna clean that out too, blow that out before I put this back on. But yeah, there's the screen. So here's my problem. Here's the air tool and uh, you'll hear it. So that's the recreation. I put debris in that screen and that's what it sounds like. Um, and here's what it sounds like when it's not like that. Real fast, real peppy, no problem. So the, obviously I got more than enough air for the tool, but when we put it on, you'll get this. Yeah, so that problem took me a long time to figure out because I didn't know about that air inlet screen that's in right here. So let's take it apart. 
I'll show you uh, how I gum that up and, uh, you know, basically blow it out with my air gun and uh, we'll uh, then test it again. So let's go. Here we go. There we go. I'll just basically undo it. And that should, yeah, that comes out pretty easy. I didn't put it in too tight. There's that. And then now we got to get the air inlet um, part off. And again, unscrew it from there. And you will see there's some of the gunk that I, some of the garbage I put in there. I put, as you can see it, it's, it's basically, I just put a bunch of rubber foam in there to simulate the debris I had in there before. And that is what clogged it all up. And uh, so yeah, blow those out, both of them, the inlet, uh, the coupling inlet and the inlet into the tool, get, the, get that debris out of there. If you have debris, that's your problem. That's why you're not getting that uh, pressure. So here's uh, this, this is my air hose nozzle and I have the swivel on it here. This thing's amazing. It's really cool for manipulating your tool and your hose to keep it from kinking up and stuff. Uh, so uh, again, I'll put the link for this in the video description below, no problem. Let's uh, uh, blow, it, blow that stuff out. So connect my air gun, blow it out. Now you can see that that's absolutely clean. Same thing with this. You can see the little pieces of foam flying out. There we go. And we're going to put that air inlet back into the tool, like so. I've got a pre threaded um, inlet there with a PTFE. So just type, tighten that up, throw this on. There we go. And I'm using 916, so I'm sure there's a metric equivalent. So tighten it up. And now uh, take this thing off of here like that. Put this tool back on and you can hear the difference, right? As you can see, plenty of pep in that tool now. So all it was was debris between the air inlet and the coupler and clean that out from that screen like I showed you and this tool will work just fine again. That's it on my video for fixing this trusty uh, air ratchet. Uh, appreciate you watching. If you like my content and you like my video, uh, do me a big favor and give me a big thumbs up here at the bottom. Uh, I appreciate it. It helps my YouTube channel to grow. And uh, yeah, also subscribe if you like my content as well. Uh, and when as part of the process of subscribing, you'll see a bell icon. Click on the bell icon and then you'll be notified every time I put up a new video. And then you can uh, watch it at your own leisure. Uh, also, uh, comment section below. Put your comments down there. Anything you want to say to me, comments, suggestions. Uh, definitely video suggestions. Uh, I've taken many video requests and turned them into videos uh, from you know, viewer suggestions in the comments section. And like I said, anything else you want to say to me, just put it in the comments section. I go down there and look at it regularly. I respond to it regularly. Uh, you know, unfortunately, I get I, dozens and dozens of, of comments every day. So it's sometimes a little hard to keep up with. So I uh, apologize if I didn't answer or if I answer a little late on your, on your uh, comments. So, uh, but again, I do look at them regularly. Uh, also, uh, as well, in the video description, you'll see links for things like the air tools and the swivel that I showed you on the video that is, uh, uh, helps the tool to be manipulated much easier under the car or in, in tight spots. Uh, I got that swivel on the uh, end of the hose and also on both ends of the hose. I'll put links for that stuff in the video description. Those are affiliate links and they help me out a little bit when you use, use them to buy this stuff and it doesn't cost you any extra than just going straight to Amazon and purchasing it directly. Uh, you know, so do me a favor, use those links to help me out a little bit. Also, uh, you'll also get exactly the, the uh, part that I'm using in the video. So you know that it's good. I won't send you, you know, to, uh, uh parts that don't work. So, uh, I appreciate, uh, you guys doing that for me. So again, like always, uh, thank you very much for watching. Stay healthy, stay happy, 
and we'll see you on the next video.